Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to go through how to create comparisons in Google Analytics 4. So here we are in Google Analytics 4. We are looking at the traffic acquisition report. First of all, why we need to create comparisons? What are comparisons all about? Comparisons are used when you want to compare two different dimensions. So let's make it maybe easier to understand. I want to find out if organic search is working better on mobile or desktop. Or I want to find out if paid search is working better in Indonesia or in Thailand. So comparisons are used to compare two different dimensions and therefore make marketing decisions. How can we set them up? In any report, what you need to do is you need to scroll up. And once you scroll up, you're going to see here this button that says add comparison super easy to understand then all we have to do is we need to click on add the comparison and we said that comparisons are relevant to comparing two different dimensions so now that we clicked on this button on the right hand side we need to select which dimension we want to compare first so we're going to click here on select dimension and let's give a very simple example so let's say i want to understand if my channels are performing better on desktop or mobile. So what is the dimension relevant to devices? It is called device category. So we're going to select device category. And we're going to say that the first comparison is going to be relevant to desktop devices. So we're going to select desktop and we're going to apply. So now that we did this, you can see that blue is for all users and orange is only for desktop users. And you can see here that all the results are broken into two lines, two rows, one that is for all users and one that is only for desktop traffic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to delete all users because we want to compare desktop with mobile and we're going to add another comparison. So we're going to click here and we're going to say the device category is mobile. We're going to click OK and we're going to apply. So now I have two comparisons. One is relevant to traffic that is coming from desktop and another one is relevant to traffic that is coming from mobile. And we can see that every result is broken by desktop and mobile. Now we can do the same with any dimension really. So what are some, let's say, of the most common dimensions that we use when we create comparisons? Device is number one. The second most common dimension is maybe country or city. So let's say I want to compare my performance when it comes to channels in Indonesia versus Thailand. So I'm going to click here, comparison, add the comparison, and I'm going to say the country as a dimension is going to be Indonesia. And then I'm going to hit OK and apply. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all users and I'm going to click on add another comparison. And I'm going to say the country here is Thailand. So I'm going to apply my second comparison. And here we can see that my channel performance is broken down by country. So blue is for Indonesia and orange is for Thailand. Comparisons can be used in any report. So these two examples were relevant to traffic acquisition, but you can use comparisons in literally any report. So let's use a comparison on the pages and screens report. So here I have a list of all my pages, all my pages or screens for mobile app. Quick note here, what is the difference between page and screen? Page is for websites, screens is for mobile apps. And let's say I want to find out which pages are receiving most traffic from organic search and which pages are receiving most traffic from referral. So what I'm going to do now here is again, I'm going to use comparisons. So I'm going to come here and say, Let's add a comparison that is relevant to the session default channel group, the channel group where the traffic is coming from. 
that is relevant to organic search. We're going to click OK and apply. This is my first comparison. I'm going to remove all users again, and then I'm going to add another comparison. And I'm going to say here that the session default channel group, the channel group where the traffic is coming from is referral. I'm going to click OK and apply again. And that's how we applied a comparison on the pages and screens report. So you can see here that all the results are broken down between organic search and referral. Now, as I said, comparisons can be used in all the different reports, right? So what you can also do is you can use comparisons on, under the demographic details report, under the tech details report. It really depends on what you want to achieve and what is the answer to the question that you need to find. So let's actually go through a last example. So here we are at tech details. I'm going to flip the dimension to, let's say, device category. By device category, we mean desktop, mobile, tablet, and smart TV. And let's say that we want to understand if uh, we are getting more traffic, let's say, from our homepage on desktop or mobile. We want to play with a different dimension this time, which is a page. So we're going to click on add the comparison and we're going to select here as a dimension, the page path, page path and screen class. And we're going to say here slash, which is the homepage. And this is basically the first comparison. And then we can compare maybe the homepage with a different page. So let's say I want to compare my uh, my homepage with a different page, let's say the store page. So this is just an example to show you that you can use literally any dimension. Now, other dimensions that may be useful to create comparisons with is the data stream. So for example, if you have more than one data streams in Google Analytics 4, you can click here on add the comparison and you can select a different stream name. So you can select, for example, data stream one, which is your first website versus data stream two, which is the second website. That's it. That's how you can create comparisons. If you found this video useful and you learn how to create comparisons for your Google Analytics property, then like the video, subscribe to the channel to support us and see you in the next tutorial.